Hello and welcome back to Roll Slow Gaming and our Let's Play series here in Football Manager 2019 with the Bath City Football Club where we're trying to take them to the top of the Premier League and beyond. So far we are four seasons in, in the, and in the very last matches here in our second season in Valera National League. And uh, we're hoping we could, can have a chance here to reach the playoffs. That would be certainly something really good and something that we didn't expect at all come into this season so that would be yeah that's just very very good if we manage to achieve that next match coming up is against Stockport County and they are 20th in the league and that is a must win game for us to have a real good chance of reaching the playoffs anyway if you do like the content remember to smash that like button and if you haven't done so already remember to hit that subscribe button as well so you're not missing out on any of the new content that we bring to you daily here at Raw Slow Gaming. So we unfortunately have Rig here leaving us uh, which is kind of sad and Hidden getting injured here since we have used Rig here quite a lot throughout this season. Uh, yeah, as you see here, 29 games he's done for us and have been pretty decent actually. And uh, we'll keep scouting Sangster here. And uh, let's check the scouting here if we have any more assignments to, to do here. Uh, so that's not really the case. Uh, and we'll then scout players here in, uh, in let's see here in England and Premier Division I will uh, skip the players that are not interested in uh, in us and I will just scout all players that are w uh, valued lower uh, than the players that were interested and we will do a few that are valued higher as well uh, probably up to around uh, maybe 20k or something like that or as long as they have a pretty low wages so we will not have any crazy wages in uh, our team so I think we'll be alright as long as they have pretty low wage so up to Williams here and after that and the wage is a little bit too crazy so we'll uh, settle with that and see if any of those players will even speak with us uh, or something like that later on in the line we will see and uh, yeah we'll play forward here to reach the team selection here as fast as possible and we'll see how things go here in, in this upcoming match and we got some pre-match tactical advice Hit all the cross crosses for team instruction child. Sure, we can do that, and we are favorites according to our uh, to the bookmakers, which is pretty good. And we have uh, some uh, more scout reports here, uh, and unfortunately, nothing that uh, looks anything good here really, uh, which is a shame. But uh, that's all right. Then we know that we don't have anyone interested interesting so far that we have scouted <laughs> sorry for for that noise and actually a little bit of a thick in the throat actually or yeah thick in the throat we can go with and uh, we definitely need to switch album here who's injured and uh, we'll actually switch out quite a few players to Genovese instead of uh, Ulhumba, who's uh, very tired. And uh, Tavares instead of Jordan, I think is a good option here. Charles uh, maybe shouldn't play, but uh, we'll try to play him and hope for the best. And uh, yeah, I think that will be alright like that. And we'll play Batten in. Uh, in our yeah, on our bench here I think it's a good option yeah that should be alright and we'll go to the match here 
and hope that we can get a good result in this match. And we'll do uh, the uh, commenting here as usual. So it's, uh, as I said before, a must-win match here for us to have a good chance of uh, reaching the playoff spots. Uh, since we do have a match against Chesterfield and Leighton Orient left the last two games after this. And we have a goal here for Bassett in the 11th minute. Starting very, very good here in this match. And uh, actually I've uh, recorded this episode before, or rather tried to do that. But unfortunately the game crashed uh, just as we were finishing the game against Chesterfield, which is uh, the next game. Uh, but anyway, that time we did lose quite badly, or 1-2, to two, to Stockport in uh, this match. And uh, yes, and we lost badly against Chesterfield, and then we were out, out of the playoff zone. So uh, this is definitely a much nicer start. And uh, we have another highlight here in the 18th minute. We have the ball passing back and forth, and dangerous stuff looking to be. And a good chance there by Burton, but saved by the keeper. And we have a corner coming out here, Schultz with the corner, and it's to Brunt, and it's a goal for Bastid here. So it's now 2 to 0 for Bryce City versus Stockport, and it's an own goal there. So definitely, as I said, it's looking much nicer here for us. And uh, <laughs> a little bit of a lucky bounce there on uh, the defender, so to say. And the next highlight here, Brunt with the free kick in the 21st minutes, but cleared by Stockport. And uh, having a pretty decent clear in there, but only to our defender, Tavares, who passes to Akinola. Up to Gray here on the left hand corner. And looked a little bit on, uh, on the tight side, but uh, worked out all right. And to, to ours, to O'Connor here on the right side and pass it up towards Adeloy. Adeloy just catching that ball up and getting a second chance. And uh, O'Connor also getting a second chance here to cross. Crosses towards Burton to Charles to Brunt. And Adeloy with a chance and it's a goal for Bassett here in the 22nd minute uh, by a very poor shot there by Adeloy, I'd say. Uh, but uh, an even poorer attempt to save there by their their keeper in well, Stockport's keeper, really. Uh, you will see it here on the, yeah, such a bad try uh, of a save there by Norman, I'd say. Uh, quite a <laughs> terrible, it's almost comedic, but uh, yeah, definitely a good game here so far for us. And uh, yeah, if we can keep this up, uh, that would be terrific. I'm paired here with a goal kick in the 42nd minute and the ball only to stop right here at the moment and we're breaking up the play there intercepting the ball but Sean's doing that and uh, the long ball is up but failed but we managed to get the ball back and O'Connor here on the right hand side uh, passes a uh, through ball really towards Charles but he's uh, dispossessed but they are just uh, trying to clear the ball and uh, they are not really making that happen and it's a goal here for Bassett and for Brunt uh, <laughs> and in the 43rd minute and uh, yet again uh, it's, I'd say a little bit lucky with the bounces there uh, on uh, this shot or not not really lucky with the bounces but uh, yet again a poor poor uh, Attempt there by Norman, I'd say. And uh, now our goal difference isn't actually that bad if we're going to play like this. 4 to 0 here now for Bassett versus Stockport. And we have the end of the first half here just now in the second. And uh, yeah, there we have it. So 4 to 0 for Bassett versus Stockport after one half. Shots 10 to 5, shots on target 63, possession 55 to 45 percent. And uh, yeah, if we played like this every game, there wouldn't be any problem whatsoever. And uh, looking on the ratings here, all players performing extremely well. So yeah, if we're just continuing like this, <laughs> it shouldn't have 
be any problem whatsoever in, in this game. And uh, first I got here in the 50th minute. Burton a long ball up towards Adeloy. Adeloy versus the keeper, but it's a block there and out for a corner. And the corner comes here. And it's cleared by their defenders. And the ball going back and forth here, a little bit on a long ball up towards their strikers, but couldn't really reach it. And I will do some substitution here around the 60 minute mark. Time to do just that. So we'll take Scholz off here, I think, who's uh, pretty tired and also not the greatest of sharpness. And uh, we'll play. I think we'll play Batten here instead of Akinola, who's very tired. And uh, we'll actually play. No, we won't do that. We'll play Poncelli instead of Brunt, though. And we'll play him as pressing forward in uh, attack instead of a uh, target man. And I will just hope that we don't get any injuries. It uh, wouldn't matter too much. We can take off one player without any problem. But anyway, we got a second goal, or not a second, a fifth goal there by Genovese. And Bassett taking the lead now 5-0 or extending the, the lead. And you know, getting a goal, his first ever goal for the club there, which is nice. Uh, I don't think he will score any more goals. Oh, and uh, <laughs> somehow we don't get a reduction there by Stockport. Uh, we'll save it on the line. I don't know how many times, but uh, many, many, many times there. And uh, good, good action there by us. And the, their player offside there in at the end. So now 10 minutes to go of this match before the final whistle. And uh, we have a highlight first here in the 83rd minute. Great with a great pass to Ponselli and to Adeloy. And it's a goal here for Bass City FC. And we take now or extend the lead even more here to 6 to 0. So we're still uh, quite the ways behind our goal tally in the first half, but uh, yeah, we can't complain. 6-0 is uh, ridiculously good, actually. And uh, will this be the last highlight of the match? Here in the 89th minute, maybe Stockport with a chance, and they shoot just a wider of the goal. No, we got another highlight, Poncelli with the free kick here, and uh, unfortunately only cleared to Stockport, and uh, Stockport actually taking control of the ball, passing it here in uh, the midfield, and uh, well, a poor uh, long ball really, picked up by our keeper Barrett, and here comes the goal kick, and Poncelli taking pretty good care of the ball, uh, Able to pass it to Edloy, passes to O'Connor here on the right hand side, and the cross is in towards Poncelli, and Poncelli scores! <laughs> we now have the lead 7 to 0 for Bassett versus Stockport. Crazy, crazy, really, here. How effective and how good we are playing. Uh, yeah, if, if we played like this all season long. Yeah, we would have been so much better, really. This is crazy. And here we should have the final whistle. But maybe another goal first. No, <laughs> no I don't think so. The uh, final whistle should be here in a second, but uh, I guess Stockport might get their chance here first. And they do. And... Uh, who get a free kick, but I guess we'll have the final whistle here. Yeah, we have it. Final whistle and the final score line 7 to 0 for Bassett versus Stockport. Shots 19 to 12. Shots on target 12 to 5. And possession 51 to 49%. And uh, yeah, overall, our team is doing extremely well. Almost all the play players here. Uh, above 9 or around 9 that played the whole game. 
uh, which is yes, uh, just crazy good. And we saw, I think, one chance that were actually dangerous for Stockport. Everything else were for us really here. And I said, now we have actually the goal difference to battle here with Tranmere and uh, Newport and Co. and Sheltenham, who are pretty close by. Uh, so, yeah, that's just, I said, crazy good. Crazy, crazy good. But anyway, we'll move forward towards that much tougher game against uh, Sheltenham. And uh, we have several players uh, ending goal drops there, which is very good. And we'll praise Adeloy's performance there in, in that last game as well. And as usual, we'll let our uh, senior players that need match sharpness to play in the under 23 for 60 minutes per match. And uh, in the team on the week, we have. Let's see here, uh, five players, no, six players in uh, the team of the week, which is a no big surprise, uh, considering how high ratings all the players had and everything like that, so that's very, very, very nice for us, actually. And uh, let's see here, we'll move on towards the next match day against Chesterfield, as said, who are third in the league and away again, which would be a much tougher game. And uh, we'll uh, change out some players, or rather put back some players here, and uh, hopefully have a better uh, game, so to say, here. And according to the bookmakers, very much even Steven here in the next game. So that's pretty good and a very good training week here. Again a 7.86 in as an average, which is rather very, very nice. And O'Connor improving here a little bit on his ratings actually, which is nice. Uh, since he have been training so well and actually getting a little bit of a result from that, which is nice. Uh, something we should do also is improve our scouting team. So let's do a staff research and we'll do Co co coach and we'll do defending is in an attribute I think and uh, we'll take a look here Crowder here is uh, our best option I think and as I said I've already done this before one time uh, this episode but it crashed onto me just as we were ending the game as against Chesterfield uh, yeah. So we finalized that deal at uh, 700, which is uh, actually a little bit more than we had in uh, the episode that you didn't see, or this episode uh, that we recorded before, but got uh, got destroyed, so to say. And let's go to the team selection here. And we should rest Luke Gray, but uh, we can't really since we don't have anyone to switch him with. Uh, but actually we do have a player in uh, or under uh, under 18s, I believe, that are a decent choice. So we'll play Albon or not. We will not play Albon. No, we will not play Albon, but we will play Anglomba instead of Genovese. And Charles is in the team, and Burton is. O'Connor is alright, he's a little bit on the tired side, but uh, it's alright. Luke Gray, though, we really would need a better player. So we have uh, Green here that we can play in. Uh, uh, in our senior squad here for a match or two, uh, which we'll do. So we'll play green here instead of grey, and we'll have a balanced mentality here in the next game, I think. Or actually, even we'll go with defensive. 
and we'll try try that out and we'll uh, play this game here and we'll out the number and we'll continue to the match and uh, we'll hope that we can get a good result here and uh, we'll comment just as usual and uh, we have the first island here going away straight away which is always nice to see and uh, first island here in 14th minute passed it with a free kick and it's very nearly a goal there very dangerously looking chance I'd say uh, but we just about misses, uh, miss the goal there unfortunately Next silence here in the 24th minute Chesterfield with the ball, ball passing it into the penalty box and we are pretty good control of the ball uh, or in the clearing and Adelaide getting the ball all the way up but getting this possessed very late unfortunately and uh, they play pretty well getting to almost a counter attack but we managed to clear that up as well and the ball now passing back and forth in the midfield to Charles passing right to O'Connor on the right hand side passes back to Charles in the middle and they bring up with a great tackle there by Chesterfield and playing a long ball towards their striker and shooting well wide and high I'd say So actually at the moment if uh, this result stands and, uh, and uh, all the other results uh, we would be clear for the playoffs which would be definitely a surprise for me at least uh, but uh, yeah what, what, what uh, can you do really it's uh, quite a lot of uh, random number generators sometimes in uh, this game uh, from time to time uh, like this when you do the same game over and over uh, I'm now thinking about the match uh, versus Stro Stockport not really this match but uh, nonetheless this is such a change versus that episode that did not make it anyway the scoreline here after one half is a zero to zero for Bassett versus Chesterfield shots three to five shots on target one to one possession 54 to 46 percent so definitely happy with that outcome here on the first off can't uh, really expect more from the lads here and overall uh, pretty good uh, ratings by the players nothing special uh, in any way at all but uh, nothing too bad either uh, but we do have uh, Bert, Burton and O'Connor being very tired here definitely and I can also a bit on the, the tired side, side so we need to switch out Burton and O'Connor here pretty soon and we'll do that right now and we'll play Ponticelli here instead of O'Connor I guess uh, that's really the only option we have and we'll play Stewart here and we'll let him play as a central midfielder and uh, yeah we'll continue the game like this and I don't think we'll do any more substitutions here in this game uh, unless we need to and the next highlight here in the 64th minute Chesterfield getting through and hitting the post there and we managed to clear it and managed to get away with it and Stuart here with a free kick and we hit the top bar there just I believe so pretty good and uh, next highlight here in the 70 minute now more highlights than before it seems like a goal kick from Birch but uh, only getting to Chesterfield and Chesterfield versus our keeper and our keeper saves there so highlight after that will be for the corner from Chesterfield I believe and yeah here it is Smith with the corner and uh, cleared pretty safely by us but only out to there's their uh, players just outside the penalty area and they shoot dangerous looking shots but uh, over the bar there and uh, next time right here in the, uh, the sixth minutes for best FC it uh, looked like at least a free kick and uh, passing it up to the midfield to Schultz uh, to Ponticelli to Adeloy and back to Ponticelli to Schultz and he will pass it back to Merch Merch trying a long ball up towards Adelaide and Adelaide not really getting a chance but 
ett mistake där från the defense of Chesterfield and it's a goal for Bassett here in the 77th minute what a turn around and what a miracle this is if things stands like this this will definitely clear for the playoff and uh, Bronte with a very nice goal and Highlight now in the 8-second minute and just saved here by our keeper on the free kick from Chesterfield. And uh, 10 minutes to go here of the match. 86 minute and highlight number something. <laughs> Next highlight is uh, what it is really. And the ball to the defense in Chesterfield. Passing the ball back and forth and a long ball up towards our uh, keepers and a chance here for Chesterfield and it's a goal for Chesterfield and they equalize here all equal in the 87th minute and all equal is uh, yeah it's what it is when you equalize there's really not any other way uh, than it being equal if you equalize uh, so very smart comment there by me but uh, well <laughs> nonetheless that's that's how it is a pretty good uh, shot there and uh, not the save that uh, we should have or expect there maybe and uh, we do have a highlight here in the 93rd minute hopefully it's not a goal for Chesterfield anyway uh, that will make things uh, very much more exciting for the last game and what is it it is a goal for Chesterfield there unfortunately so it's a goal and now this going to one to do for Bassett versus Chesterfield and uh, yeah now things are well things are definitely in our hands still but uh, yes things are now so much tougher for us to actually reach the playoff uh, since we will be battling two teams here in the last round and we need to keep them both behind us. Uh, since uh, they both have a better goal difference than we do, I believe, anyway, or very close by. Uh, of it. And here we were waiting on the final whistle and there it comes. So the final goal and 1 to 2 for Bassett versus Chesterfield. Shots 7 to 14, shots on target 2 to 5, and possession 53 to 47 percent. And unfortunately, our defense collapsing here a little bit in uh, the second half, I'd say. Merch and Jordan have a very bad games there, and uh, yeah, I think. They did mistakes there, which meant that we lost the game, unfortunately. And after that match, we are now 7th in the league, uh, with 3 points clear to uh, the two teams that are chasing us. Uh, we have Cheltenham, who have uh, the same goal difference as us, and Tremor, which have uh, won two goals less so if we lose the game with one goal next game and Harmer wins the game with one goal that's the only way we might and Cheltenham of course will not win their game that might be able to give us up uh, but that's the only way if Tranmer does that and we only lose by one game uh, that we have any chance to battle on the goal difference and actually I don't know if uh, if that would be enough anyway so that doesn't really matter but anyway if you have enjoyed this episode remember to smash that like button remember to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the new content that we bring to you daily here at Roslo Gaming and also of course the exciting next game that we'll see if we manage to get to the playoff or not anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye